Welcome to another tutorial. This is Dr. Burton and I'm presenting a tutorial today on doing screen rotation for your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. This project will be looking at the rotation of the iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. We're going to look at how to automatically rotate the interface for whatever navigation or orientation the device is currently in. Now to control the orientation we need to turn on these services uh, which is basically just a matter of removing the comment tags and changing the return to yes and adding some specific orientation directions to the device. So let's create our new project and this is going to be a view based application. I am going to go ahead and orient it for the iPhone, though of course it could. this could just as easily be done for the iPad. Everything would work exactly the same. And we're going to call this little project uh, rotation. If we're going to support all four orientations with our iPhone or iPad, the code is incredibly simple and straightforward. All you need to do is having selected your controller main file scroll down to where your should auto rotate to interface orientation is uncomment it and change the return to yes so I've got that set I'm going to save my file and I'm going to go to the nib file and put a just a button in there just so that I'll be able to see the rotation that's occurring. Um, I'll go ahead and give it some text inside of it. And so there's a, just a simple button. So we'll save this as well. Go back to our IDE and do a build and run. And here's our app. There's the app set up. Go up to your hardware on your iOS simulator and select rotate left and you'll see the text or your button rotate as you go through all the different orientations. So that's a nice simple easy way if we need to support all four rotations or for all four orientations. Now Apple likes to see as much support for that as possible when you are submitting your applications. They want to, if an application, especially for the iPad, is supposed to be portrait, they want it to be both portrait orientations. If it's supposed to be landscape, it needs to be both landscape orientations, if at all possible. Um, if it's not, you need to have a good reason why it's not supported. And their preference is that it actually support all four orientations, especially for the iPad. Obviously, there would be some exceptions to that. Uh, games have sometimes very specialized needs for the environment, but for the most part, any basic application should expect to be able to support all four orientations on the iPad. Now, the on the iPhone, it needs to be able to support a basic landscape and portrait orientation. The only exception is for the iPhone, you should not have it so that you actually have to turn the phone upside down to use it. Um, that can be confusing for people, especially when they're trying to answer the phone, when they're trying to use your app. So for the most part, they like to see if you're going to do a portrait type application, it needs to be in standard portrait and won't necessarily need to support the upside down 180 degree portrait view. Since I'm building this particular application for the iPhone, I need to take into account that it should not have a portrait upside down orientation that's allowed. But I do want left orientate or standard portrait orientation, left landscape and right landscape. So let's make it so that only those three orientations are allowed and not the portrait upside down. To do that I need to go back and put in the code that was originally there bef before I changed it out to just yes to support all four orientations. So we'll get rid of our yes and I'm going to put back the interface orientation equals UI interface orientation portrait. So that'll take care of our portrait. Now we need to take care of our landscape. So we'll put in an OR and we'll add our landscape orientation. And 
and that'll take care of left and just leaves us with needing to put in right. There we go. And we'll save our application and run it. And rotate. There's a landscape. And as you can see, it jumped over. I did the exact same thing. I've just moved to the left, which, as you can see, has moved it to portrait upside down, but it did not change orientation. It stayed in the landscape orientation instead of switching to a portrait upside down. As I said, Apple, it really doesn't like to see that on the iPhone. iPad, they expect to see it. iPhone, they don't want to see it. So we'll rotate left again, and as you can see, it's continued to rotate. So now we're back to our original orientation. That's a nice, simple, easy way to take care of your rotations automatically and makes your life much easier. That concludes this tutorial on doing a auto rotation for your iOS. For more tutorials, see us at burtonsmediagroup.com forward slash blog.